So, you came here to learn how to trade. Well, thankfully, I am a pro gamer, and I have tons of diamonds, over 60 million wrap, and I'm a 100 overall in four different seasons, so I know what I'm talking about. This video will be split up into chapters, and you can skip to whichever chapter you want by checking the pinned comment. But without further ado, let's get right into our first chapter, the basics of how to trade. Trading is obviously one of the biggest parts of getting items you want. And I'm sure you already know how to start a trade, which can be done by clicking on the player and requesting a trade. If the player accepts your request, you're thrown into this menu where you can add items and request items. Now, before you're even thinking of trading somebody, I would recommend checking their inventory first. You want to at least have something of an offer ready so the trader won't get impatient and click off. If you're looking for a specific item, you can search it by using this big board in the Trade Hub building. This shows every item that exists in your current server. Okay, I kind of went off track. Now back to trading. So you can add items and request items in this menu. You are also given a private chat with your trading recipient. Sometimes you will encounter a console player, which means they can't chat, but they can still see your chats. Once you think you have a good enough offer, you can add the items that you are willing to give and request the ones that you are looking for. Once you and the recipient have agreed on the offer, both of you must hit the submit button. You get eight seconds to confirm and the trade goes through. Congrats, you made your first trade. If you're not looking to trade, this is another great option for obtaining items, the auction center. The auction center is a simple room with tons of chairs. When you sit down, you are given this menu, which shows you literally every single item being sold right now. It ranges from golds to diamonds because bronzes and silvers can't be sold. Usually there are over 6,000 items being auctioned off by users just like you at any given time. Now, in order to buy these items, you need coins. Coins are earned basically everywhere. If you want to know exactly where, check out the video in the top right corner. Hopefully I remember to put it there. Anyways, once you think you have a good amount of coins, you can search for any item you want by clicking on this search field. If your desired item isn't for sale, I'm sure it will eventually be. If you do find it, you can either choose to bid on it or buy it out. I hope you know how auctions work, but you probably don't because you're probably like 11 years old. Anyways, bidding on an item gives you the top bid, but it doesn't guarantee the item. If someone else bids on the item for even higher before the time runs out, you will no longer have the top bid, thus losing your item. Assuming that no one outbids you, you can always check on all the items you have bidded on in the My Bids tab. You are also given the option to buy out the item, which is significantly more expensive. Although, buying out the item will immediately give you it, so if you are mega rich and impatient, this might be the right option for you. If you want to sell your items and make some coins, you can simply switch over to the Sell tab. When you click there, you are shown every sellable item in your inventory. You can choose any item you want. I'd recommend the items in which you are not using at the moment so, you, so it won't have too much of an effect on your inventory. Also note that bronzes and silvers are unauctionable. When you finally selected your item, you are given a set price which happens to be the item's wrap. If you don't know what wrap is, basically wrap stands for recent auction price. The wrap of an item is calculated by taking the average price at which an item was sold in the last 10 instances. That was a pretty nerdy explanation, but basically it just means the average sale price of an item, and wrap is not a currency, you cannot buy stuff with it. Anyways, you can change that set price to any price you want. The minimum price for a gold is 20,000 coins, the minimum for a ruby is 40,000, the minimum for an amethyst is 60,000, and the minimum for a diamond is 100,000. If you're selling a ruby, unless it's an animation, no one's probably going to buy that unless you make your item the cheapest price possible. Oh yeah, and buyout price. The buyout price really doesn't matter. Just make it kind of high, but make sure it's still reasonable. Once again, if you're selling a low demand item, I'd recommend making the buyout price lower. Oh yeah, big point here. Listen right now. There is a tax on every item you sell and buy, meaning you only get 70% of the coins that you sell an item for. Yeah, they really take 30% away from you. You can also choose the length of your auction. I'd recommend making it as long as possible, which is 12 hours, but once again, if you're impatient, it's up to you. You can post up to 10 auctions at a time, and you can check on them in the My Auctions tab. 
If your item sells, congrats, you can claim your coins. If it doesn't, you can choose to claim your item back or repost it for the same price and the same length. Remember, there is a tax, so if you get less coins than you thought you would, that's why. You may have noticed that it's kind of hard to find clothing on the auction house, and that's because most of it is unsellable. Excluding most of the new clothing items, all of the older clothing items are unsellable and can only be obtained in two ways. First, obviously, is trading, and second is the clothing stores. You can find clothing in the following three buildings. UF Merch Store, located here, Revolta, located here, and Heisen, located next to the Revolta store. These stores sell about 30 items at a time, ranging from bronze to diamond. Bronzes are cheap at only 5,000 coins. Okay, you know what? No, I'm not wasting my time telling you this. Just look at the screen. Here's what the price of each rarity is. You still might not see the clothing item you want because these stores don't sell all of their items at once. They only sell small portions at a time and they reshuffle every four hours. Or three, I don't really know, but it's one of those answers. So yeah, if you're looking for clothing, go to one of these three stores. You can find cool items like the referee shirt and the Better Call Saul fit. Alright, now that I've thrown some good tips at you, now it's time to tell you what not to do. So, if you've watched other tutorials, various YouTubers will tell you to buy packs. But unlike those other YouTubers, I am actually rich and have good items, and that's because I don't really buy packs. You see, the only two good packs can be bought with Robux only for insane prices, like we're talking a hundred plus dollars worth of Robux. The best pack you can get with coins is the Veterans Day pack, and it sucks! I opened two of the bundles, which removed 900,000 coins from my inventory, and I didn't pull a single Amethyst. I could literally get a good diamond for that price. The only packs you should be buying are the event packs, like the Halloween ones, Thanksgiving, and Christmas packs. Although, you can't even get those anymore. Also, don't buy items with actual money. I guess selling them is okay, but buying items with money is a major no. Literally half of the people who sell items for money are scammers. Although, if you're really willing to buy stuff with your own money, join the Players Transaction Hub by searching up discord.gg slash pth. That server is your best shot at being able to buy items with money, if that's your jam. Oh yeah, also don't buy coins for Robux, they're incredibly overpriced. Really, just don't be stupid guys, and spend your money in coins wisely. Alright, well, that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully this little guide can increase your knowledge on the ultimate football market. If you want to learn more about getting rich, check out the video on screen right now. If not, can you please at least subscribe, bro? I'm trying to pass its voc. Anyways, I wish you guys the best of luck in getting the items you want. Thanks for watching, peace out.